um, probably in my case for my work on the German Romantics, um, in two reasons. Um, I got invitations to lecture because I wrote on the German Romantics, not just from this country in Germany, which I expected, or England, but also from Nehru University in New Delhi, from the Academia Sinica in Taipei, Taiwan, and from Beijing University in Beijing, um, uh, China. And, and uh, I really got puzzled. Well, I finally figured out why Nehru University was interested. If you were an intellectual, an Indian intellectual or scientist in the early 20th century and you wanted to study higher education in sciences, engineering, or uh, some other field, and you were against the British Raj, where did you go? You went to Germany. So there was a long tradition of Indian intellectuals studying in Germany and an interest in uh, particularly the German Romantics, who were the first people in Europe to seriously get interested in Sanskrit, for example, and Indian mythology. And the poet Tagore um, had um, written about this. But China was a big surprise until I realized that they had a, a new edition of the Grimm's Fairy Tales had been produced in Chinese. And they didn't want a Freudian interpreter of <laughs> these fairy tales, which was at the point a dominant one. But I was uh, offering an historical sociological um, interpretation. I looked at the original manuscripts, found out that Snow White's uh, stepmother wasn't really her stepmother, it was her mother, and it changes the whole story, a mother trying to kill her own child versus a stepmother, and I went more into other things like this. And so they were interested in me, and I was twice invited to Beijing and twice to Taiwan. So that was a surprise. But in the 90s, then after I stepped down, I, um, early 90s, I developed a course in romantic fairy tales at Irvine, an undergraduate upper division course. And I was hoping for, for 25 students, and 125 showed up. So suddenly I had to create a lecture course overnight and I think I ended up for, with 160 at most in it. And I taught that for over 10 years. And today when I'm traveling, somebody will come up to me and say, I took your fairy tale course. So perhaps, perhaps that.